Thank you very much indeed, Judith, for your ministry and song tonight. Let's bear in a wee word of prayer, please. Lord, we do seek thy face tonight now for the preaching of the gospel. We thank thee for our sister who has sang the gospel tonight. We pray, Lord, you'll bless her messages and song that we have heard this evening. Now, Lord, as we turn to the sacred page of Holy Scripture, may we hear thy voice tonight. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew's Gospel, please, chapter 25. The Gospel of Matthew tonight, chapter 25. And the Lord Jesus is speaking. And in verse 1 he says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. And when the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him and to the marriage. And the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know ye not. And here's my text tonight. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. That's my text tonight. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son cometh of man cometh. And we know that the Lord will bless that reading to our hearts this evening. I wonder tonight, dear friend, are you ready for the moment when Jesus will come? Not if he will come, but are you ready tonight when Jesus will come? I want to say something this evening. Christ's coming to the air is the next prophetical event to happen in God's prophetical calendar. Nothing else has to be fulfilled. All is in place tonight for Christ to come. And I wonder this evening, are you ready tonight? Are you prepared when Jesus comes? I want you to notice in that parable tonight, there are ten virgins. Man, they look the same. You couldn't have told the difference between the five wise and the five foolish. It says the whole ten of them slumbered and slept. But I'll tell you the difference. There was five who were truly ready There was five who were truly prepared. And there was five who thought they were ready. And there was five who thought they were prepared. Do you know what scares me tonight? There are so many people tonight who think they are ready. And tonight they think they're prepared, but they're not prepared. Like the five foolish this evening. The moment the bridegroom came, they realized they weren't ready, but it was too late to realize it.
There's a lot of things in life that is in inevitable. Sickness is something you can prepare for, but you can recover from sickness. Sorrow is another thing that is inevitable, but you can learn to live with sorrow. Old age is inevitable. I'll tell you something else. Death is inevitable. But Christ's coming again is inevitable tonight. And are you ready? For when the Son of Man cometh. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready, dear? Are you prepared? For that moment, when the Son of Man cometh, There's going to be a lot of people tonight who's going to be caught out. They think that because they lived a good life, they think because they went to church, they think because they were baptized, they think because they were christened, because they think they paid well into the church, Oh, everything's all right. Are you one tonight that is truly ready? Or are you one tonight who is thinking that they're ready? The Lord Jesus says, Watch therefore. Watch therefore. For ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man comes. Do you know tonight, sinner friend, Christ could come before you die. Death scares a lot of people. But the coming of, a ma of the Son of Man, the coming of Christ, should scare people even more because Christ could come before you die. The Son of Man cometh. God wants you to know tonight His coming is sure. And there are three reasons as to believe that His coming is sure that His coming is inevitable tonight. This text in 20, Matthew 25, 13 leaves us in no doubt tonight that Christ will come again. It says there, Watch therefore, for ye know not neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Do you remember what the Lord Jesus said in John 14? In John 14, verse 3, He says, I will come again. Tell me something tonight. Have you ever heard the Lord Jesus come out with something that's untrue? Have you ever known Christ to break a promise? Friend, here's a promise that, that stands true. I will come again. Do you see when the Son of Man cometh tonight and when Christ comes, this world doesn't have a clue what it's in for. If Christ would come tonight, sinners haven't a clue what's going to come upon them. 
after Christ comes. I'll tell you this. This world ain't seen anything yet. His coming is sure this evening. Do you remember what the angel said in Acts chapter 1, verse 11? They said, this same Jesus, as you see go into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you see him go into heaven. I want to warn you tonight, the Son of Man cometh. His coming is sure. Do you ever break a promise? It's a hateful thing to do, but it happens every day. Husbands break promises with wives. Wives break promises with husbands. Boys break promises with girls. Girls break promises with boys. Parents break promises with children. Children break promises with parents. Wonder have you ever made a promise and then break it again? I'll tell you this, every promise the Lord Jesus made, he never broke it. And this is one promise that stands firm to me. I will come again. Do you know one say a friend tonight? That should scare you. Sinners wait and sinners think of the day when they're going to die. The Lord could come before you die. And here's the problem. You're not ready. And you're not prepared tonight for that moment when the Son of Man cometh. His coming is sure. I'll tell you something else tonight. His coming is sure. His coming is sudden. The moment the Son of Man cometh, He will come without warning. And it won't matter who's sitting on England's throne. And it won't matter who's sitting in the White House. It won't matter who's sitting in the Kremlin. And it won't matter who's sitting in Storm Mount either. Because in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the Son of Man cometh. His coming is sure, but believe you me, His coming is going to be sudden. The Bible makes it clear it'll be in the twinkling of an eye. I can just imagine Facebook five minutes after the Lord comes. I could just imagine the videos posted. I could just imagine the television jam-packed with, with one headline. What has happened? Where has all these people gone? There could be somebody in this meeting tonight, you have never heard this before, the moment the Son of Man cometh, there's going to be millions that will suddenly disappear from this earth. 
The moment the Lord Jesus comes, when the Son of Man comes, He's going to come to the air. And the moment He comes to the air, every Christian is going to be taken out of this world in the twinkling of an eye. Do you know what the Lord Jesus says in Matthew 24? Two men shall be working in the field. I don't know what they'll be doing. Maybe, maybe two men in a field, maybe fixing a hedge, out looking cattle, out after sheep. And then the Lord Jesus says, This one shall be taken. And the other left. One will suddenly disappear, leaving behind the Wellingtons and the cap and the glasses. But one will be left. And one will be left wondering, Where has he gone? Where, where's this man went to? I'll tell you where he's went to. He's went to heaven because he was saved. The Lord has come and took him home. But the other guy wasn't saved. He was left behind. The Lord Jesus says, Two women shall be working in the middle. One shall be taken. The other left. See, one woman will be saved. The other wasn't. She has gone home to heaven. Do you know, friend, this world is going to be plunged into chaos when the Son of Man cometh tonight? when every Christian in the moment in the twinkling of an eye will just disappear from planet Earth. To meet the Lord in the air. And I can tell you something now, child of God. I could just try to imagine Facebook, Facebook posts of videos of people suddenly disappearing. Can you imagine the Facebook posts posts then? Can you imagine the YouTube posts then of people suddenly disappearing? Did you know tonight that American Airlines will not allow two Christians to fly the one plane? They say if the Lord comes, well then there's no pilots to bring it down. They'll allow two unsaved. What a moment it will be when some husband who's not saved will be left behind and him looking for the wife and she can't be found. She was saved. Never to see her face again. You take we children tonight before they reach the age of understanding suddenly taken out of this world. You think of it this evening. The moment when the Son of Man cometh, there's going to be chaos in this world. Parents will be searching for their children. Children will be searching for their parents. Husbands will be searching for their wives. Wives will be searching for their husbands. Never to be found because the Lord has come. When the Son of Man cometh, there's going to be a mighty evacuation out of this world. And tonight, if the Lord could come, tell me, will you be taken tonight? Or will you be left? You see, the Son of Man cometh. His coming is sure. His coming tonight is sudden. Tracy and I know a man tonight who done time for armed robbery. While he was in prison, they brought in a film called The Thief in the Night. And they showed it to the prisoners. And in that film, it shows you what it will be like when the Lord comes. And when people will suddenly disappear from the earth. She was a man out mowing the lawn. He was a Christian, the wife wasn't. And all of a sudden the lawnmower's sitting going and he can't be found. The Lord has come, he is gone. Sitting in that prison, 
the man was scared to his wit's end because he thought if the Lord could come that night, he would be left behind. Do you know something? I think that he said to me, there was over a dozen saved through that filling. They were scared of being left behind. I'll tell you something now, unsafe person, you need to be scared to be left behind. The Son of Man cometh tonight. His coming is sure. His coming is sudden. I'm going to finish tonight with this one. His coming is soon. You say to me, George, I've heard this for years. His coming is soon. I'll tell you something. His coming is soon, all right. His coming is soon. You see, the Lord Jesus said, in Mark 13, verse 32, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the, my son, sorry, neither the Son, but by the Father only. But the Lord Jesus did leave us with three clues. He left us with clues tonight. You know what the Lord Jesus said? As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be. Three times in Genesis we read these things. First of all, there's the days of Noah tonight. You know what we're reading the days of Noah? Genesis chapter 6, verse 5, And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of his thoughts of his heart was evil continually. Tell me this, are we not living in these days today? Man openly rebelling against God, governments openly and blatantly going against the teachings of God. Do you know what God did in the days of Noah? God stepped in and says, enough is enough, and sent the flood. In Genesis chapter 11, you'll read the, power, the, the time when they were building the Tower of Babel. And this is what God says, nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. The days of the flood, men openly rebelled against God. Do you see the day they built the Tower of Babel? Man openly rebelled against God. What happened? God stepped in and said, enough is enough, and brought confusion. Genesis chapter 18. The Lord Jesus refers to this day as it was in the days of Lot. So shall it be when the Son of Man cometh. In the days of Lot, they openly and they blatantly lived in immorality until God stepped in and wiped the cities of the plain out. You know, friend, tonight, in our world today, our world has turned its back on God, and our world today is blatantly living in rebellion against God and against Scripture. And the Scriptures of truth tonight prove to me that His coming is sure. The Scriptures of, of truth tell me tonight that His coming is sudden. The Scriptures of truth teach me that His coming is soon. I'll tell you something else tonight that tells me His coming soon. Science and technology tells me that is coming as soon. Do you know in Revelation chapter 11, no, sorry, Revelation 13, verse 17 tells us the day will come when you will not be able to buy or sell unless you receive the mark on your right hand or upon your forehead, the mark of Antichrist. The day will come when there will be a cashless society. And unless you receive the mark of the Antichrist, you won't be able to buy or sell. Last weekend, we were in London. Every tube train, every bus, you scanned your credit card. You didn't even need money. Scan your credit card to get in. Scan your credit card to get out. See, even hopping on, hopping off a bus, your credit card. Your credit card. When we got onto the airport at Gatwick Airport, 
We had our passes with our barcode. Nobody at the desk, you just went in. Scanned your barcode, that printed your tickets for your luggage and all the rest. How close tonight are we not from the mark of the, the beast this evening? But before the Antichrist comes, something has to happen. The Son of Man must come to the air to take the church out. In Revelation chapter 11, through the tribulation period, we're told that the two witnesses will be murdered, killed, two witnesses of God. And it says in chap chapter 11, verse 9, And they of the people and kindred and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. You know something tonight? Thirty years ago, this was unimaginable. Now it's just a way of life. All these things are in place. The stage is set for the Antichrist to come to be revealed. The problem as to why he is not can't be revealed, the Lord has to come first and take the church out. And sinner friend tonight, if you're left behind when the Lord comes, You'll never know what suffering is in this side of the second coming tonight, and you will know after the second coming. Because this world is doomed for judgment, and you're doomed for judgment. And once the Lord comes, there's no calling Him on Him to be saved then. Many will seek the Lord, but He won't be found. Many will come, but will come one day too late. But tonight I want to finish not at the second coming. I want to finish at the cross. That's where you need to get till tonight. To get ready and to be prepared for the second coming of the Son of Man. Because tonight I'm warning you. As Christ died and rose again, so Christ is coming again. And Christ died for your sins, dear, and Christ died for your sins, sir, on that old rugged cross. And you need to come as a sinner tonight. And come and confess your sin and tell the Lord you're a sinner and bow your head and receive him. And make him yours tonight. The Son of Man cometh. Are you ready tonight? Are you prepared tonight? We're not going to sing any more hymns, but we're going to just bow our heads now in prayer. The Scriptures say this this evening. He that shall come will come and will not tarry. And are you prepared tonight for the Lord to come? Or do you think you're prepared? Be an awful thing, dear friend, to be left behind when Jesus comes. Soon this day of grace Soon this day of opportunity will close. Your hope will close. Come tonight because He could come tonight. For of that day and of that night are The Son of Man cometh. Lord, tonight we just leave the eternal issues of this meeting. And we pray that Thou would work and that Thou would speak. And Lord, tonight we know that Thou art coming. And we pray for sinners to be wise. 
and seek thee tonight while thou may be found. Lord, give deciding grace tonight, even in this meeting. Give saving faith tonight, we pray, in this meeting. We turn this whole meeting to thee now in Jesus' name. And Lord, part us in thy fear and with thy blessing. And Lord, if thou should come tonight, may we all meet with thee in the air and none tonight be left behind. In your name, Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. If anybody would like to speak to me, please do so at the door. Thank you.